Hello pretties, I'm really excited today because today is March 15th which means that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty just started today and I know I'm gonna post this video probably on Thursday so it's gonna be a little bit late but there's still be plenty of days left in the sale but yeah so I am a cruelty free beauty um you know youtuber I only like to use cruelty free makeup and I'm essentially got my little magazine from Ulta and I kind of want to see what it is available that is going to be cruelty free and the things that I'm going to be interested in so essentially I just decided why not do this with you guys I got my little sharpie ready so I can circle things that I'm interested in I have the website ready uh, for the Ulta because I know some things that don't always put it in the pamphlet and then I also have my logical harmony uh, website up so that I can always double check if I'm not sure if, if a brand is or isn't cruelty free I can just verify before I make any calls on my own so yes um so March 15 today it starts and it says here that we have the Mario Badescu and my is cruelty free, um, but I'm just not interested in the items they have. So it's going to be the vitamin C and the super uh, peptide serums. I'm just not interested in that. They have ABH Brow Wiz. That's a really good one. I don't actually do my brows though because I have pretty naturally thick eyebrows, which I'm lucky. So I usually just kind of comb through them and I'm set. Um, I do make sure to get them. I, I do the, what's it called? I can't think of these words right now. I, I get them threaded. Oh my gosh, there you go. It, it is more painful, but they just do it so beautifully. It's really good. So I personally wouldn't use this product, but it is on sale for half off at $11.50 versus $23. So if that's what you're interested in, I would say go for it. They also have blowouts. So there's that. Then let's see in the website. What else is there for today? Mm. So, okay, so for today it says uh, the Barrow is Mario Badescu. It also mentions Diamond Platinum Exclusive only. There is a mineralized skin finish natural 50% off. I, my is not cruelty free, so I wouldn't buy that. And then there is the Tightening Sculpting Face Cream from. I never, I don't even know how to pronounce that brand. Stravectin? I have no idea if that is cruelty free or not. But I, I wouldn't be interested in that, I don't think. So we're just gonna move on. <laughs> okay, this is a brand that I've heard a lot about and I'm not sure if it's or isn't curved to fit, which is Kapari. So, I'm going to go to Logical Harmony real quick. And this is something if you are cruelty free, you know, this is something that you will have to do is you will have to go to like Logical Harmony or Lipping Bunny certified. Uh, there's also cruelty, um, Cruelty Free Kitty, I think it's called. So there's a lot of brands. Uh, I personally like Logical Harmony. I think she makes it very easy to like use the website and everything, and she keeps it update every week. So I personally like that one. So this is Kapari. Kapari Beauty is cruelty free. Awesome. I did not know that. So Kapari. So tomorrow they're gonna have their deodorant. And that's something that I've said I've struggled with finding. So I might, I think I'm going to pick that one up tomorrow. Kopari, it's, they're small. It's only two ounces. Ooh, that is kind of small. Hold on. How much is my Tom's? Jesus. Oh, I guess this is 2.25 ounces. So I guess it's average size. I didn't know. I never thought to look at the average size. So I'm going to want to check that one out because it's going to be on sale for 7 to $9. And I really need a cruelty-free deodorant. So I'm going to do that. And then in the little pamphlet thing, it also says the Lancome. Uh, Lancome is not cruelty-free. So I, you know, we just go right through that one. Let's see. It also shows that they're going to have like Boxum items. Boxum is cruelty-free, but their parent company is not. I personally like to shop from those brands, even if their parent company is cruelty-free, so they can show you, you know, Definitely, there's still an audience for it regardless. And there's Derm Dermalogica. I don't know if Dermalogica is cruelty free or not, but we can find out. Let's see here. I I'm, wouldn't be interested in buying their items anyway. Okay, Dermalogica. It should be noted that they are, they are cruelty free, but their parent company is not. Okay, well, I'm not interested in buying their items anyway, but it's good to know if that is something you're interested in. They're gonna be on sale tomorrow. Let's see, on March 17th, definitely going to have to go through this a little bit faster or we're going to be here 
all day, which you may or may not be interested in, like, going through the sale with me, but we'll see. Um, Burn Minerals, Mineral Veil is going to be on sale on March 17th. I don't think I need that at this time. I just have, I love the e.l.f. powder, and I think it does such a good job that I don't think I need it. And then there's going to be Elmas mm, Marine Cream, I don't know, Ooh, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Oh my God. So that thing is $89 and it's not going to be $44.50. Hell no. Uh, even if it is cruelty free, I would not be interested. Um, so on March 18th, there's going to be Estee Lauder, not cruelty free. We'll roll that out right there. Juice Beauty. I don't know that Juice Beauty is cruelty free or not. So let's check it out real quick. Mm. Juice Beauty, 100% vegan also. So that is awesome. But what is that? <laughs> Anti-wrinkle booster serum. It was $80 and it is now $40. No, thank you. I, I like my e.l.f. My e.l.f. make um, skincare that I just got. So I'm good. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let's see if the website has anything else that's additional to that. Um, oh, it says here on... Tuesday, March 17th, so yes, the, the one for the day before that, Ofra highlighter, Ofra highlighters are actually going to be on sale. I personally don't need any highlighters, but I know a lot of people really love those, so that might be something you want to check out. And there's nothing else on that Wednesday one that interests me. So let's go ahead and go for the next one, uh, March 19th. There's going to be Lily Lashes. I don't use fake eyelashes, so I'm not interested in that. There is Shiseido, not cruelty free. Clinique, not cruelty free. Uh... Then the website here says that there's going to be some cover effects items that are going to be cruelty free. But I mean, the cover effects is cruelty free. Their parent company isn't, but they are. Um, I'm not particularly interested in what they say. It looks to be like skincare. I'm just, I, I'm not needing any skincare at this time. Okay, moving on. March 20th. So Becca lip liners and lipsticks are going to be on sale. That is might be something that I'll be interested in. I just, I definitely don't need any more uh, lip products, but I am gonna circle it, cause they're, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna check it out. I'm just gonna look, window shop. I don't always shop when they're window shop, so there's that. Um, Benefit Cosmetics mascara, but that's not cruelty free. Uh, Renewed Hope, I don't know that that is. Oh, it's Philosophy, it's not. Philosophy is not cruelty free. Uh, and then Exuviance. But it's just like the sample packets. That is so weird. That just like they're selling the sample packets. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> okay, and then on March 21st, um, we do have the Tarte Shape Tape that's going to be on sale half off. I would be interested in buying that if it wasn't because I already found my perfect concealer, which is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, and I don't feel like I need anything else. Also, I've heard that the Tarte Chip Tip can be slightly drying, uh, but actually really natural still. So definitely if you're interested, I would think that's a good one. And Tarte is cruelty-free. Uh, their parent company is not, however. And then there's other things here that they mentioned. So they mentioned that the Benefit Brow Bar is going to be having... Um, some free things that they're gonna have there. So if you go to your regular Ulta and they have the brow bar there, they'll have some services that they'll offer with a discount. Um, and this Tula, I've never heard of that brand. What is that? Okay, let's see here. Tula, 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 Tula. Is that cruelty free? What are they even? Tula is not in the logical harmony and I don't particularly want to check them out like I it's it's skincare and I'm I'm happy with my skincare right now is there anything online that I missed at this time let's check it out no it's about it okay so moving on to the, the next thing oh okay Let's see, March 22nd, there's going to be the Too Faced bronzers that are half off. Personally, even though Too Faced is cruelty free and their parent company is not, I don't want to note that, um, I don't support Too Faced and it has less to do with their products and more to do with their management. I just, 
this was way before the whole Nikki tutorials thing. I've just heard so many YouTubers stories. I've had so many bad experiences with them or like they just attack. I just don't like the way they attack some of the YouTubers who do like real reviews. You have to give them a 100% positive review or they will not, you know, give you any more products. They will not send you any more um, PR and they will trash talk you because you give them an honest review. And I just don't like that and I don't support that kind of brand and I don't feel comfortable buying from them. So I just don't. Uh, but that's my personal philosophy. If you like them, I've heard their bronzers are really, really good quality. That it says like holy girl status for a lot of different people. It's just not something that I'm going to be purchasing. Um, Clarisonic is going to be having um, some items there that are on sale. So if you want to do that, I don't believe Clarisonic's going to free, but that can be, you know, because it's a tool and not necessarily makeup, people have like different, you know, opinions about that. I personally don't own a Clarisonic, so I don't need the pack, but whatever. Um, and then everyday makeup application. Um, what? Oh, okay. So it looks like the salon at Ulta Beauty is going to be doing half off like a face thing. So instead of being like $45, it will be like, I guess, $22.50. Might be something to consider. I personally don't care because I feel like my makeup looks fine just on its own. Um, let's see if there's anything else here. Um, okay, so the Lorac lip liners are going to be on sale as well on that day. And then the Clinique... Uh, again, Clinique's not cruelty free. Lorac has a really shady, that might be a white word, uh, cruelty free status. Uh, they're currently in the grade list for the Log Logical Harmony, so I wouldn't purchase anything from that day. So let's go, go ahead and move on to the next thing. So on the next day, there is the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion that's going to be on sale for $12, where it's really $24. I personally really like the Milani one, so I don't feel like I need that at this time. And then there's MAC products that's not cruelty-free. Let's see on the website. Um, there's going to be Grand Alash. I don't believe Grand Alash is cruelty-free, so I don't. I won't be purchasing that. I'm just not interested. Um, <clears throat> lime cream. I've, I've heard a lot of people say back and forth is if lime cream is or isn't cruelty free. So let's just find out right now because I don't know and I want to find out. Mm, let's see. Lime cream is cruelty free and 100% vegan. Okay. Well, it looks like some of their uh, select Venus palettes are going to be on sale. So if you're wanting to buy some of their eyeshadow palettes, that will be a time to do it. I personally don't need any eyeshadow palettes. And the one that they have here in the picture does not call my name. So I will I will not be getting it. Um, but, I mean, this, it goes from $38 to $19. That's definitely a steal. All right. Let's see. Skin. I just don't need skincare right now. They're my doctor. More skincare. I don't need it. Uh, there's also the lipstick queen or whatever it's called. It's that lipstick that when you put it on it's green or then it changes to your own shade of like pink, perfect shade of pink or whatever. That is not cruelty free, but that is on sale on that day. And then there's Juice Beauty, which we just went out. It is cruelty free. I just, as I said, I just don't need skincare at this time. All right, moving on to Wednesday, March 25th. This day, they actually have a couple of things they have one thing that I'm really interested in on and that I know for a fact I will be purchasing. And it doesn't show on that little pamphlet, but it does show on the website that they're going to be having the makeup eraser on sale. And it looks like it might be the mini, I don't know. But I will definitely be purchasing some of those because I really, really like them. And especially now that I just found out the vintage, they're getting it out of Ulta Beauty. I definitely want to buy some from Makeup Race. And if I can buy them myself, that's even better. They have the Smashbox Primer. I know that's a really popular one. Smashbox is cruelty free. But I just, it says oil and shine control. I am not oily at all. So it, I think that's just going to dry me out. And then they have this like pump thingy that's kind of supposed to take all like the blackheads. It's like a little machine. That creeps me out. I will not be getting that. And then everything else is skincare. And again, I don't need it. I do want to click on the details of that one particular day because, okay, not what, I have a touchscreen computer and I think sometimes you just go too far. Let's see here. Um... What is the deal? Okay. 
online only, 50% off makeup erasers. So instead of being $20, they're now going to be $10. But they're online only. Uh, damn it. I hate online ones because I know that they go out like this. Like you literally have to buy them at midnight. And that's March 25th. That's a weekday, y'all. That's a what? That's a Wednesday. <laughs> um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do that one. But you know what? I actually have to wake up early to go to work early on that Wednesday. So if I wake up at 5 a.m. and there's still some available, I'm definitely gonna buy them. I just hate when they're online only, but whatever. All right, uh, March 26th, the Stila liquid liners. Those are gonna be on sale, half off, eleven dollars. Stila is cruelty free. That might be something that I would consider. I do think I need a liquid one, but I don't know that I will get that one. Philosophy, not cruelty free. Sunday Riley. I don't know that Sunday Riley is cruelty free. I know that a lot of people don't like them because people are saying that they're supposed to be buy their reviews online, which may or may not be true. But if the product works, it works, I guess. I personally had some samples from them and I didn't like them. So I wouldn't buy them necessarily. But maybe it was just like that one product. Because again, it was just... Uh, Oh, they're not there. Sunday Riley is not in the list. So I'm inclined to believe they might not be cruelty free. And I really don't want to go through the other list and check if it is or isn't. So I'm just going to skip it. Just to be on the safe side. Let's see what the website says. Is there anything cool happening? Um, Clinique products, not cruelty free. And then there's Nabla highlighters. I don't know that Nab if Nabla is or isn't cruelty free, but I'm just not interested in highlighters. So we're going to move along. <laughs> All right, uh, so they're gonna have this Foreo mini thing. It's like, like a cleanser machine thingy. Kind of looks like the color sunlight, but tiny. I would not be purchasing that. And then the It Cosmetics. I don't believe It Cosmetics is cruelty free, so I'm gonna skip on that. They have a Murad uh, cleanser. I don't need a cleanser at this time, so I'm fine. Now, what I am thinking about is the they have the uh, Ulta. No, Ulta. Ultra Repair First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. That might be something I would consider purchasing, but again, I'm pretty good on um, skincare right now. So I think I'm going to skip over that one too. So, March 28th. We're moving along, guys. Finally. We've been here for a long time. I'm probably going to have to edit this one out, but we're getting along. Uh, so Kylie Cosmetics Lip Singles. Those are going to be on sale. I personally don't don't know that I'm going to be buying anything um, just because I prefer the ColourPop like, lipstick formula, the Lux uh, lipsticks. They're really good and I've heard that their hair liquid lipsticks are really dry and I have really dry lips as is so I definitely don't need those. So we're going to move along in the Mario Badescu. Again, I just, I don't care. But Mario Badescu is cruelty free and so is Kylie Cosmetics. So that would be something to consider. And it looks like there might be some Becca primers that are on sale too but it looks like that might be online only. So that might be something to look into. All right, let's keep online buying here. Uh, it brushes, it cosmetics brushes are going to be on sale. I heard their brushes are really good, but I definitely don't need any brushes. Um, as is, uh, Derm Dermalogica skincare. Um, don't need that. Lancome not cruelty free. Um, yeah. So and they're gonna have a uh, twenty minute facials half off at the skin bar at Ulta Beauty. So if your Ulta has a skin bar, hey, and you want to get a facial, that might be something good. It's not deep. It's regular $25 to $40, they're saying. I'm assuming based on whatever products they use in your skin. So that might be really nice because you can get anywhere between like $12 and $20 facial. That's pretty cheap. Um, always into that. Let's see. Origins. Origins is not cruelty free. I know. Shocker. Uh, Strivectin, um, uh, Clinique, not cruelty free. Nothing in here that's calling my, calling my name, but I know that a lot of people like that brow blade from Urban Decay. It looks like that one might be available online, and Urban Decay is cruelty free. So if you want to check that one out, on Tuesday they're gonna have the First Day Beauty Facial Radiance. This, they're going to be on sale. I just like I, said, I don't need skincare now, but it's a pretty good deal actually. Um, Nothing else there seems to be cruelty free, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it moving. So they have the Pure Four in One Press Mineral Powder Foundation. I've heard a lot of really good things about this powder foundation. I'm considering getting it, to be quite honest. Even though I don't 
I don't need another foundation, but I would consider it. I'm just going to circle it because I might consider it, but I don't know. And then Cerovital uh, Dietary Supplements. I don't, I don't think I need that. <laughs> and then Peter Thomas, um, it's cream skincare. I don't need that right now. Uh, Buxom Lip Glosses. Everybody loves getting the Buxom Lip Glosses. I personally don't like plumping lip glosses because they can dry you out, especially if they have that mint. Mint does dry you out. And because I have really dry lips, I don't need them, but I have tried this lip glosses and they're pretty nice. They're pretty high shine. They can be a little sticky, but not too much. Definitely can work through it and you can definitely layer them on top of other products. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, this is your time to get it. I personally am not interested, so I'm going to move on. Um, let's see. Lancome, not cruelty free Murat. I'm not sure. And I'm not interested in skincare this time, so we're just going to keep it moving. All right. April 3rd. The Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette will be on sale. I personally am not attracted to this eyeshadow palette, but I know a lot of other people are. That might be something you want to look into. Um, Dermal Blend, not interested in their setting powders. The Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush and Bronzer Duos. I've heard so many really, really, really good things about it. That might be something that I would consider getting. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. And then April 4th, which that should be the last day of the sale. Yep, it is. All right. <clears throat> so, on that day, they're going to have the benefit. Give me a brow. Benefit's not cruelty-free, so I don't particularly care. Um, the only thing that, that is cruelty-free that I'm interested in will be the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. And they're going to have them half off. The Tarte Mascaras are really, really good mascaras. I've had a couple, like, mini sizes and, like, samplers here and there. And I've enjoyed them. I don't necessarily think that I'm going to be interested in that one, though. But it's just the Essence one is $5 every day. Like, so why would you spend more than that, you know? But whatever. So I do want to quickly talk about the hot buys that things are going to be 30% off uh, for this week because they have the Urban Decay uh, Vice lipsticks that are going to be on sale. And I really like those. I've only used one. Oh, I know I got I'm wearing it really close. Here it is. Which is the um, Carnal shade. And I really like it. It's definitely like a comfort matte. And that is the one that I got. I have the comfort matte. It's matte, but it's really nice. And look how little I have left of it. So it is definitely really, really nice lipstick. I would consider maybe potentially getting one or two of those. But again, it's this just that ColourPop Lux Lips, you know, lips, lipsticks are only $6 year round. So it's like, why would I pay almost $14 for one when I have two for the same price? So I was like, is it even worth it? Uh, Too Faced and Lime Crime uh, lip products are also going to be on sale on that this week. Again, all of them are cruelty-free. We just found out Lime Crime is. Didn't know that. Uh, don't buy from Too Faced. So I wouldn't purchase. But that might be a time if you want to check those out. Let me see. We didn't go through the hot buys. So I'm going to go back to the week before that. So week 2, March 22nd to the 28th. And they're going to have some Lorac mascaras as well as Stila mascaras are going to be on sale as well as Kylie Cosmetics, eyeshadow palettes, and Lorac Pro palettes are going to be on sale. Not interested in any of that, but I thought you might. And then on the first week, that's this week, they're going to have um, It Cosmetics um, brushes as well as foundation. So those are going to be Lancome products that's not cruelty free. Um... So yeah, I'm not really interested in any of those, but okay. I think that's everything. What I know for sure I'm going to be getting is the makeup eraser, um, makeup wash. Uh, those are really good. And I definitely want to get a couple, especially if they're going to be half off. I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to get the still a liquid, lip, uh, liquid lipstick, eyeliner, or whatever. Liquid, liquid eyeliner. I don't know that I will get that, that one. Although I am interested in the pure foundation and the cover effects, blush and bronzer. I don't know that I'm going to end up picking it up or the liquid lipsticks, but that's something that I can consider in April. So we'll see. Uh, I'm really excited about everything. Um, there's not a lot that I thought I would want. It's only about five products out of the wholesale that I would consider, but hey, it is what it is, right? All right, well, that's everything, pretties. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a longer video. I'm sorry, or yay, if that's the kind of things that you like. I personally don't like longer videos, but I'm just going to wrap it up, say goodbye, and have a good day. Bye.